What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomber's in the building, and it seems like AEW Fight Forever is the topic of everybody's conversation right now. First the achievements leaked, then we found out we can pre-download the game, then Status extracted the data files, then Fightful Select tried to sell us information we already had behind the paywall. It's just been going crazy. But one of those things stand out to me. The fact that we can pre-download the game, because normally, that's not the case. Normally. The only time I've ever been able to pre-download a game, especially without paying for it first, is if that game was on Xbox Game Pass. Now when it comes to AEW Fight Forever, this is not the first time Xbox Game Pass has been a part of the conversation. Let's look at the history. So we head to WrestleZone where we have an article by Matt Black. He used to give us a lot of updates on this game back when, you know, we used to get updates on this game. So this article states, All Elite Wrestling and THQ Nordic are looking to make a big splash with the upcoming release of AEW Fight Forever by launching on Xbox Game Pass. Let's go down to the next section here. There is good news on the horizon for this game, however, as numerous sources have informed me that when AEW Fight Forever is released, it will be a part of Xbox Game Pass on day one. This will give All Elite Wrestling's first game a massive boost in accessibility right out of the gate, and that is very true. Next section even proves it. By launching on Xbox Game Pass, AEW Fight Forever will be available to over 25 million subscribers on Microsoft subscription service. This will be the first licensed wrestling game that has ever been made available on Xbox Game Pass. Just going over that last paragraph breaks down why this decision would make sense. Everybody does not have $60 just laying around where they can go buy a new game. Some people still to this day want WWE 2K23, but they can't afford it. Let's get to that. Some of those fans who want to play WWE 2K23 are not AEW fans, but they still have that wrestling itch. So you put AEW Fight Forever on Game Pass where they would not originally touch the game. If they see the game in there for free, they will likely download it. And if the game's good and speaks for itself, you could pick up new fans just like that. I was never a fan of UFC until UFC Undisputed came out. They put the demo on Xbox. I got tied into it it started watching UFC and I've watched it up until this day right now so you can get new fans by introducing them to your product in this way but of course there's more to the story so let's keep it going after this article was posted on WrestleZone, the AEW Games Twitter account responded to the story and wrote that they don't anticipate the game being on any monthly subscription services that kind of kills it right no, Matt Black came back again and said, I'm not going to get in an argument or a debate with anyone, but I just want to be clear that I stand by my story that I reported yesterday as I had it confirmed by multiple sources. That's the last I'll say on this subject for now. So as we've seen over the last few months, there's been rumors and just different things going on with this game pretty much every few weeks, but AEW has never addressed it. Even the GCW thing, GCW did address what was going on, AEW or AEW games never addressed it. So why would they come out and shoot this rumor down? Let's get to that. It's been proven over time that games sell less when they launch on Xbox Game Pass. I mean, that's a surprising fact, right? Now we've seen them pushing pre-orders on TV, so just think about what would have happened if they left this story unanswered. This came out in November of 2022. Right now it's May of 2023. The game still has not been released. How many pre-orders would they have missed out on during this time period if they let people believe this game was coming out on Game Pass? A lot. Now I understand the need to shoot down the story. I get it. But I don't see a journalist reporting something and standing on it after it's shot down because that comes, that's, that's going to hurt your credibility. So I thought it was going to be 50-50. But after this whole pre-install with no pay thing, I think the chances are 75-25 that this game is going to launch on Game Pass. But it looks like we need to head to Twitter right now because we might have some breaking news. So we head to AEW Starfield's Twitter account. As we can see, he has the game pre-installed. He's been trying to open it up. But then when you go to a few tweets from today... He's saying we need a release date, tweeting at AEW, and it looks like he might actually have gotten in. Now, I saw some Reddit posts as well. I'm not sure if this is that same Reddit user, but it looks like somebody may have gotten into the game. So we actually need to head to the Xbox. I'm going to see if I can get this thing pre-installed. Let's do it live. Man, boy, they coming out. So for whatever reason, I was not able to download the game on my Xbox. So I went through the Xbox app on my phone, and voila, 
we have magic. Now I didn't pay anything for this. So being that we can download this game right now and it says ready to play, I think that's Game Pass confirmed. You can't do this on PlayStation. What's the excuse? This is it y'all, the moment we've all been waiting for. Being that we can download this game on the console, the release date has to be right around the corner. And I don't think it's coming no later than June. And everybody who said I was crazy when I told y'all this game would be released in June, I need my flowers. They don't need longer than a month to roll this thing out. They can start right after May 29th, show us Create a Wrestler, show us all the different modes in the game, and then release at the end of June. That'll work out perfectly for them. I mean, WWE did the same thing with 2K23. The game has finally finished downloading. Let's see if we can open this thing up.